Industry people know we have been set up to improve the health of the population, reduce inequalities in health and ensure really high quality and efficient services. Uh, in order to do that, we need to focus a lot more on supporting people and their families and their communities to live healthier lives. We need to make sure that people can get access to GP services when they need them. Uh, we need to make sure that we are able to provide support for people with long-term conditions and those with complex health needs. And we need to provide a much quicker way to get a quick diagnosis to understand if you have a planned care condition, so that might be something like a skin condition or an eye condition and so on, so that you can be treated as soon as possible. Our way of doing that is to try and bring everybody together, so people from local authorities, from social care, from primary care, community care, mental health care, and from our specialist hospitals where we need them, into what we are calling integrated neighbourhood teams. By bringing all of those staff together, we hope that we can provide a much joined up service, which is working more efficiently to provide quicker access to the care that people need. We know from our communities that services uh, health and care services and working with uh, social care are not joined up uh, across North West London, across the whole of the health and care system. Integrated neighbourhood teams are going to be the gel that keeps that together for our local uh, residents, uh, for all of our communities. Uh, we know that that's not a simple exercise and so designing that in each neighbourhood for we think of populations around 50,000 um, we need to co-produce that work locally. We need to work across partners, work with residents, work with communities to really design those. But we also have to uphold the principles of a joined up system uh, and, and work together on that. We've heard um, from staff as well um, that uh, health of our uh, services are not well joined up and that we can work better together across all of community care, mental health services, primary care services, and the workforce, our staff that provide care to residents can do a better job, a less frustrating job, by joining up and working together in the interests of those residents. North West London. Each of our boroughs will have several INTs. What are INTs? There are many examples in North West London where we are already working with professional groups in integrated ways for the benefit of our local communities. There is an increased national focus on this way of working and we can offer more and better services in all our boroughs with this joined up approach. Let's break this down really simply. Integrated. Services working better together across health, social care, the voluntary and community sector, and with communities themselves to understand our population better, prevent ill health, and manage our patients with the most complex needs in convenient locations in their community. Neighbourhood. Teams of around 50,000 people based in a specific area who will take responsibility for the health and well-being in that neighbourhood. They will have a deeper understanding of people's needs and expertise within the neighbourhood they are providing support to. Teams. New, genuine teams forming made up of existing professionals in our system. They will have shared goals, objectives and priorities for their neighbourhood and take responsibility to break down old barriers to improve ways of working. Who will be working together? 350 GP practices formed in 45 primary care networks, more than 250 care homes, eight local authorities, three community trusts delivering physical and mental health care, four hospital trusts, a thriving voluntary and community sector with hundreds of organisations supporting health and care needs. An INT will be made up of primary care networks, community health services such as district nursing and therapy, adult social care, community mental health services, public health, voluntary and community sector, and services for children and young people. We know that patient needs vary in each borough. Having a range of expertise in INTs will mean knowledge can be combined and shared to provide the best care for the diverse needs of patients. How will the INTs do this? There will be four key areas. Tackling health inequalities in our communities by understanding the factors that lead to them, for example, housing and education. Coordinating teams with lots of different professionals and bringing them together to support patients. Building the skills of our workforce so patients are involved in all decisions about their health. An understanding of local community needs so the prevention and care services can be provided. 
Why is it beneficial to work in this way and how will it make a difference to care? Having a better understanding of the health needs within different areas of our boroughs means we can provide the best care for patients. For example, in an area which has a high number of people living with diabetes, we can make sure that all the services they need for this are available to them. How will this work in practice? Ruby is 11 years old, her parents are getting a divorce and she has started to struggle with her mental health. Kerry, a school counsellor at Ruby's school, meets with her each week and has noticed a change in her behaviour. As Ruby knows Kerry, she feels comfortable talking about how she feels with her. Kerry knows Ruby needs more help. She speaks to the early help lead within the integrated neighbourhood team to get Ruby further support, sharing information with the team so that they can help Ruby and her family as quickly as possible. Ruby quickly gets the support she needs. Having this joined up way of working was only possible due to integrated neighbourhood teams. Mark has a long term condition, which means he needs support from different services regularly. Mark gets advice on healthy eating so that he understands how the food he eats affects his condition. He also attends yoga at a local wellness centre for his well-being. Mark gets pharmacy advice and also has his blood tested to help find out more about his condition. Mark attends a group consultation each week at his local wellness centre. Other people with his condition also join and chat to a medical professional. Here they can learn more about their condition and ask questions. Mark is able to go to one place to get all of the above support. This is only possible because of integrated neighbourhood teams.